dead. Russian soldier. Stop the car, please. I want to walk. Read on the mountain. Pull over. Germans have attacked. The gas bus soldiers. Homeless people fished a box with a dead woman out of the river. Horrible things are happening in Paris. It's not safe. Here, we should go. So, this is how it ends. Madame? Hello, David. I just wanted to... I know. I heard about the explosions by the river. So Paris is no longer safe. It seems so. The police left a few papers and photographs there on the desk. They took everything else. They even tore apart the galleys. That's a shame. What will happen to this place? I don't know. The new owner won't keep me here anymore. Since I was working for the spy. Did you know he was a spy? Of course not. Would you take this to the cart for me? Would you? Yes. Thank you. She got up for a walk on Saint Michel. Just as they fished the body from the river, she might suspect something. I'm really worried about her visit to the Deuxième Bureau. And this trip to Vittel, too. You are taking her 
to the station tomorrow morning. I will walk her out. If I'm wearing an apron, you'll kill her. On the way, like you killed Anna. If I'm not wearing an apron, you take our madam to the station then. How is your Russian friend doing? Uh, Vladim, right? <laughs> Vladimir is doing good. Thank you. Goodbye, David. Goodbye, madame. I don't understand why the Bureau gave you permission to go to Vitel. The same way I've gotten so many other documents. My methods are well proven and always efficient. Ladu is your lover? <laughs> of course not. With his lieutenant. He was handsome too, so that made it easy. Anyway, he was bringing in documents for Ladu to sign. And he was looking at me so lustfully. So I suggested we go into his office, just the two of us. And in exchange, give me the permit to Vitel. Very simple. So, you went in his office with him? You want to hear details? Maybe when I'm back. I will bring you all the documents you need and all the information you need. I'm very good at memorizing things. I will take notes and maybe I will take photographs. Don't take too much risk, and come back soon. I will. Oh, that must be Jacques. Right on time. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Oh. Are you coming with us, Elizabeth? Oh, no. I'm just going to take a walk. Bye. Bye. This is Guy, our youngest. There, there, my dear. Hmm. You must stay strong. Guy took arms to avenge his brothers. The first day he was there, his unit took part in an offensive at the River Somme. My baby died. They stabbed him at the trench as if he were alone. Agatha, please. Sorry. Don't. How old was he? Nineteen. We are now away to our middle son now. His name is Simon, like mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was around the Russians when the Germans used gas. Did he die? No, thanks God, no. But he was crippled. We don't yet know how badly. Anyway, he survived and can't fight anymore. That's what matters. At least one of our sons will stay with us. All right. It's your turn now. Tell us about yourself. Whom are you visiting? My fiance. He's a Russian officer. And he was gassed, too. I'm going to have a walk in the car door. Of course. Thank you for sharing. Sorry.
Excuse me, sir. How long are we stopping here? Five minutes. Please, take a seat, madam. Here is Captain Maslov. 
Who is it? Is it for me? I wish it were for me. What a beauty. Ma Ma Margaret, is it you? Yes, my love. Why are you here? How did you find out? From the papers. They are. Be my guest. Thank you. Promise to spend the rest of your life with me. Remember? I'm not going to spend my life with a promiscuous woman. <laughs> How nasty. But it won't work, you know. What won't? Trying to push me away. We can't be together now. You must see that. No, I don't. I've played at love, but now I fell in love for real. I want to marry you. I spent the rest of my life with you. Damn it. Shh. Georgi, take the razor from her, for Christ's sake! Georgi Mihailovich, where are you? Who are you looking for? To hell with him. I'm a cripple, Margaret. They've cut half my lungs out. I may stay blind for life. I cannot carry you around in my arms anymore. I'm a different man now. Well, it's time for me to carry you in my arms. Please marry me. You will regret it. Never, 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 never. Monsieur Salinas? Who are you? I'm from for our doctor. <sighs> Too bad. I was hoping to see Frau personally. I don't have much time, so get to the point. Our sources have information that Matahari has been recruited by the Second Bureau. She named her contacts in Germany. Are you sure that it is not a trick of the Second Bureau? The list of names that she gave them, we have seen it. I understand. I will tell Frau Doctor. There is one more thing. We found out that Matahari may be heading for Madrid. So hurry up then. Six arsonists who tried to set food stores on fire have been detained in the suburbs. Only two could be brought to Vasson. The other four were butchered by the crowd. Oh, those cruel Parisians. Our agents' provocateurs need to be paid, monsieur. Yes, 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 yes. Do you have the documents? No, but I can get them for you. First, tell me what's going on with Matahari. I didn't want to kill your mood, Captain. But Agent Arnaud reports that Matahari spends days and nights by Maslov's bedside. You surely mean in his bed. No, he is crippled, almost blind, monsieur. She is taking care of him. <laughs> Harlot. So now she's an angel. It's got to be a trick. Keep a close watch on her. It's cloudy today. Yeah, I can see it myself. You can try with the other eye. The doctor said that if you can see the light, your vision may come back. Can you see something? Yes. Yes. Uh, 
The doctor also said that a weather like Russia might be good for you. Weather like Russia is in Russia. I know things are getting bad there, and I will be a complete stranger. I think maybe we can go to Holland. I have money and a house in Hague. But I will be a stranger there. Are you suggesting I live off your money? Of course not. But I have good connections, and maybe you can serve. Maybe you can write a resignation letter, can't you? Yes, I can, but I am on indefinite leave now. It seems you have already made all the decisions. <laughs> yes. I've written to the banker, and I booked two tickets to Nice. And we can go to Madrid and then Bilbao. And from there we'll get the money and go by ferry to Ag. What if I say no? I won't go either. But we can try my love. And if it's not working, we'll go to Russia. The only thing is I want to be with you. It's the only thing that I want. Spaniard said Matahari is about to leave, and we need to hurry. My source confirmed. Our agent in the Rothschild Bank reported that they received a letter from Margaret Zella. She asked for her money to be transferred to Madrid. The information is reliable. She wants to run away. We need to send an anonymous letter to the Bureau to let them know about her request to the bank. Right now. Consider yourself lucky that your incompetence delayed the transaction. But we can't delay further. It would be illegal. We are at war. In a war, anything that helps to beat the enemy is legal. Still, I need a written order. I need you to accept responsibility. I will hold you responsible if the traitor Margaret Zeller receives a single cent from our account. Not one cent! Do you hear me? Now, get out of my sight. Yes, sir. It's too late. They're in Madrid already. That sneaky whore. Thank God the director was stuck in bed with his mistress and hadn't sent the money yet. It gives us time to form a new plan. Looks like God's on our side. Or the devil. Anyway, let's go to Madrid, my team. from Russia gets worse every day. Desertion, defeats, starvation, the army's a mess. The Tsar can't control the country anymore. Resignation, at a time like this, might be seen as abandoning your duty. You want to risk that? My resignation is due to my injury. I cannot serve for health reasons. <coughs> Certainly. I'll talk to General Lochvitsky. Margaret. Holly. No, sit down, please. I'm on my way to the bank. The money should be here today. How do you feel? It's too hot here for Russians. I'll see you later. An expensive hotel? <laughs> you seem to be in good hands, Captain. What are you implying? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Will you submit my letter? 
Well, of course, I will do it. But I can make no guarantee that they will accept it. <laughs> Madame is upset. How touching. Matahari has to cut her expenses. Let's follow her. doing? Don't worry about it. Stay on her. Good afternoon, Margaret. A doorman shouldn't see a woman of your position walking in the sun like that. I see that you are not very happy to see me. Why? I am? At least, it explains why I couldn't get my money. We had a deal. I just want to keep you honest. I could give you a lift. Right to the door. Please, jump into the car. What do you want? You know what. I want you to work for us. I'll be living in Lag, if you need anything. You have no use to us in Hog. If you want your money, I want the names of your accomplices in France. What accomplices? <laughs> you admitted you work with German intelligence. I think you still are. You think so? What are you going to do about it? We can arrest you right now. In Madrid. But it's a neutral country. You have no evidence against me. What if I tell your Russian lover that you are the reason why he's a cripple now? Because you warned the Germans of the Russian attack. They will never believe you. <laughs> you know it's true. What if he sees it in your eyes? Think about it. Go back to the hotel, Hervé, and don't charge Madame for the ride. I'll expect to hear from you soon. She'll contact the Germans. She'll tell them that we've asked for information. And they'll give her false reports to give us. She will pass it over to us. Mm -hmm. We will check it and arrest her. Exactly. No need to watch our hotel anymore. Let's go. Good evening, Frau. What brings you here? You read the note. I use a secret code. I'm Agent H21. Please, sit down. The circumstances forced me to leave France. That's a shame. And Captain Ledoux was blackmailing me and made me agree to work for him. Is that so? Of course, I only pretended to go along. If you give me some information that appears real, he will trust me and we can use that. 
So you've got it all worked out. Elizabeth. I'm glad to see you. You told me you got the permit by sleeping with a lieutenant. Why did you lie to me, Margaret? I had no choice. I knew you wouldn't agree to let me make the deal to see Vladimir. But I had to. I really love him. How sweet. Because of what I do, I cannot get my money from the bank. What a rascal. Isn't he Herr von Calder? I've got important information for you. For instance, did you know that the French are moving a regiment from the front line to Senegal? We will check that. And I could have sold many German agents to Ledoux for that money. But I don't want to betray my friends. For instance, they could have gotten Frau Doctor several days ago on a silver platter if I had chosen to betray you. But I didn't. What do you suggest now? So what do you want, Margaret? False facts. To trick Ledu. <coughs> Signor could hardly breathe. We wanted to call for the doctor, but he refused. I understand, thank you. <coughs> oh, Margaret, you are back. Why, of course I'm here. You're not feeling good? I'm never feeling good without you. Oh, poor darling. I'm here. We'll be leaving soon. Very soon. <coughs> the information Matahari gave us was false, as I suspected. So we know she's still working for the Germans. I will take charge of all information regarding this operation. We will make sure they have false dates and troop movements. And as Germans move on it, we'll trap them. We'll give false information to one of our African regiments and allow the Germans to discover it. We will allow the Germans to think the regiment is returning to Senegal. I gave this information to Matahari, and I'm sure she passed it to the Germans. Je no French, ask him. Où va votre régiment? Allez va. Nous allons dans la ville de Vest, à la gare de Trenou, retenons à la maison. He says they are heading to the station to go home. And where is this home? Où est ta maison? Senegal. We'll change our regiment's orders, but generate fake communications and movements to make the Germans think the orders are still in force. Yes, we'll move out immediately. Get the soldiers ready. We're advancing and attacking. The Germans will attack, thinking the front lines are vulnerable. They will be met with overwhelming force. As the Germans are wiped out, they will want to take revenge on their beloved agent. Our units were trapped. The enemy used poisonous gas. Our regiments that led the attack were completely destroyed by the gas. Go on. I have to read this to the commander and the entire staff. Keep reading. Those who did not die of gas poisoning were shot or stabbed to death. No more than 50 soldiers survived out of three units. We hardly managed to stop the counter-strike of the French regiment. It caused great losses. And this is all because of your agent, Matahari? What do you have to say for yourself? I deserve to die. So do I but it would make our enemies even happier. All we can do is make her pay for this betrayal. Let me do it, please. This hot climate is killing him. Your husband needs marine air and a cold climate, Signora. We're going soon. Hurry up then. 
He's fallen asleep. Take him as soon as you can. Thank you. News from Madrid. You may go. What's the news? Mother Hari moved to a cheap hotel. Mm -hmm. She's pawned all her jewelry to pay for the doctor for her Russian lover. But he is doing worse. I feel sorry for that captain. But he chose the wrong woman. Tell our people in Madrid to be especially careful starting tomorrow. The Germans won't forgive her betrayal, but we must not lose her to them. I want that traitor to be punished here, in France. Is she still at the hotel? Yes, she doesn't leave the Russian. The French must be somewhere nearby, too. Two people are both exits day and night. Don't let them get in our way. This must be an execution, not just a murder. You will have five agents. Excuse me, please. Good morning, madam. Stay here. Stack. This time the French have gassed the Germans. One moment. I shall get it. Who is it? I have a bank draft from Madame Matahari. What are you doing? Get out! Get out! Out! Stop it! You deceived us, Madame Zelle. I didn't deceive you. I relayed the information. Thousands of German soldiers died. You will pay for this. <laughs> Don't touch him! You are not loyal to any people or ideals. You live only to satisfy your pathetic personal needs. Such people are useless. You will die. Yes. Who are they? 
Why do they want to kill you? It doesn't matter. She'll be fine. She's just sleeping. Thank you. Calm down. Calm down, Monsieur Maslov. I'm a friend. Who are you? Captain George Ledoux. Second Bureau of General Headquarters of the French Republic. Read this. You see now? Perhaps. So, do you know what happened? Of course I do. Margaret is my agent. German spies tried to kill her. What did she do for you? She knows many high-ranking German officers. We wanted... A you wanted her to sleep with them for you, didn't you? Anyway, being here is dangerous for her. I suggest we take her to France. I can protect her there. Well, it's your decision. Just let me know. But I think the doctors are much better in France. Wait. When can we leave? What's the matter, officer? A standard check. There's a wounded woman with us. We need a doctor or a hospital. Wounded? May I see? Out of the car. Out of the car! What's the matter? What are you doing? We are arresting this woman on charges of spying for Germany. France, madame. Where's Vladimir? Vladimir is not the one you should worry about, madame. You've given me false information, which proves you are a double agent working for the Germans. Germans lost. You have no proof against me. You really think that? No, so. We'll see. You will stand trial, and if found guilty, you will be executed. Take them. 